In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do animations like this. Let me reload this web page. Now you can see how this uh, section slides up, and this one slides from the right, and this from the left. And you can see this bounces up from the top, and this one from the bottom. So we are going to be using Elementor for this. Without any much ado, let's go ahead. So if you look at this website right now, you see that there's nothing special about it apart from these other animations. Actually, there is something special about it, but there are no uh, special animations. These are just effects, over effects. Let me reload the website and you see. So you see if you bring your mouse here, this is a hover effect, and this is a typing effect, and these are hover effects too. But we want to do something more about this. We want for there to be animations which come in by themselves. So as you scroll down, you see the animations moving. You see things moving in one direction or the other. So this is going to be a very brief tutorial. Just click on Edit with Elementor. Now that we have the Elementor Edit screen open, first thing we can do is that we may want this particular, uh, all of this section to slide in upwards. So we'll click here and we'll come to Advanced. And then we want to come to motion effects and then entrance animation. Uh, we can see this should fit in or fit up, fit in up. So you see that is already uh, an effect. Then for these, we could have this first column slide in from the right and the other one slides in from the left. So I'll click on this, go to advanced, motion effect, and we can have these two. Let's see fit in right, that's it. Then this one fit in left, motion effects, fit in left. So. They are going to do that at the same time. Then for this particular one, this section or this column, we come to motion effects. And we could use any tip, for example, zoom in. Let's say zoom in right. Yeah, that is a little bit too much for me. Let's say zoom in. Yes, we could do that. And you could also increase the duration. You could make it slow. All right. So what if we say bounce in? Bounce in. You see that is bounce in. Uh, we could say slide in down. Yes. And this one should slide in up. I'll go to advanced motion effects. Slide in up. So this one is sliding uh, in up, this one is sliding in down. Then for this one, we can leave it the same. We don't want everything to be uh, an animation. Then for this, let's just see, we'll come to advanced and responsive, no, motion effects rather, entrance animation. What if we see uh, roll in? Uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, we could see uh, something like bounce. Yes, those are attention seekers. For these other ones, we could just leave them be seen the way they are. Let me publish this. And uh, let me preview this on another page. So you see, okay, you see that? And as we scroll, you can see the animations. So you see this one, it shifts. So that is that. That is how you include animations in your web design flow. If you enjoyed this video, I'm go I just watch the next video after this. God bless you. Peace.